Okay, the next one is going to be the blue. So we'll put that right down here. Well, that one really shows up. And we'll flip it over. Get the back side. Spread it out a little bit. That's the blue. We have the paper towel. And somewhere, I thought I had another one of these sponges. Yes, I do. So there you go. This is a clean one, never been used. And now we'll put the red over here. I spilled a drop of red. I don't know if you can see it right there. Flip it over. And wipe up the spills. One more spot doesn't look So there we go. That's the dye application. Now the next thing that I saw in the video that I watched was that she rolled the thing up in plastic wrap and then steamed it. So I hope I've got enough plastic wrap. Not a problem, I do. And I think what I want to do is separately wrap each of these areas too. I'm going to wrap this red section separately all by itself so it doesn't touch any other area. And wrap this blue area. And then the gold, golden yellow area. Now, she didn't do this, and I don't know how critical it is, but I just don't want to take a chance of spreading these colors too much more than I'm already doing. So now we'll then she rolled up the whole thing and steamed it. So we'll try effectively rolling up the whole thing. And there we go, we've got a get back in there.
the plastic wrap of dyed yarn. Get these out of the way so you can see it. And I'm going to do the same thing off camera to the other skein of yarn. Okay, so the next thing that Rebecca from Chemnitz did was she put hers in a basket to steam. She had like a spaghetti basket, I don't, but the we've got one of these big canning things, a canning pot, and it's one we bought, I can't remember, it was either St. Vincent de Paul or Goodwill, a real bargain. So now I'm only going to use it for dyeing. So I'm going to put these in there. And I've got that on the stove inside, nicely steaming away. So I'll take this inside and give it, I can't remember, did she do 20, 30, or 40 minutes of steaming? I don't remember. But I'm going to go for about a half an hour's worth and see what happens. So this is going to go inside with me, and we'll see what happens after that. There, it's out of the steamer for, it's had its half hour. Going to let it cool for a little bit. Okay, these have come out of the steaming. They steamed on the stove inside for about a half an hour, plus or minus two or three minutes. I wasn't keeping that close a track on it. And then they've been sitting out here for um, about 40 minutes now. So I'm going to do a first rinse. I don't know if temperature of the rinse water makes a difference. These are still warm to the touch, but they're not certainly not hot. So let's take the first one and unwrap it. And the rinse water is um, cold. And again, I don't know if that matters or not. The red's not quite as red as I was hoping it would be. Oh well. But the blue and yellow look pretty decent. I'm, I don't know what it is that sets the color, but I'm thinking it's that heat. So let's put this in and see if we get any color bleeding. Put this over a little bit closer by you guys. I'm not really seeing anything. Doesn't seem to be anything bleeding out. Maybe the slightest bit of blue, but well, I'll tell you, it's pretty, pretty nothing. So that's one. Let's see if I can get this out of here decently again. I'm going to hang them probably in the shower stall to dry, but for now, just a good twist. That's one. Let's unwrap the other one. I did a better job of wrapping on the second one here. Much better. I also think I wrapped it tighter. This one feels a little warmer yet.
So if I do this again, I'm going to go with a little bit more concentrate on the red, so it's not quite as light a red or almost a pink. But there we are. I know when um, that Rebecca does this, she washes with soap and water, but she's also getting, she had some color bleeding out of them, and I'm not seeing that. Not significantly, not so. Well, I've got Somehow I managed to get blue to show up in multiple places on this one. I don't know how I did that. And uh, again, as I've said, this is my first time trying this. So I don't know if this is, if I'm doing it right or wrong. Okay, these are, there they are. Um, I'm going to take them inside and hang them uh, to dry in the shower so that if they drip they don't get all over a floor that's important. I'm s looking down at the white bucket full of water. I see a very extremely light shade of blue in there. But I think it's safe to say this is as done as I'm going to get them. We'll find out. Who knows if this will work or not. But um, if it does, well, the next step will be to show you how these look after they're dry and then finally to um, try using them to make a scarf of some sort. That's the goal at least. So next thing probably be a day or two from now after they've hung to dry and we'll see how they look once they're dried out. Well, YouTubers, I have allowed this dyed yarn to dry for a few days now. So we'll give you kind of a quick look at it. Um, the dye spread in a couple of places. But I think it looks kind of neat anyways, so, and that'll just give us kind of a random effect. So here is one of the skeins. The blue is a little bit lighter than I thought it was going to be, and so is the red. It's almost a pink. The yellow is a little bit lighter also. But I still think it's going to look neat. At least I'm... I have great high hopes. So there's one skein. Set that down. And here comes the other one. Oops. Again. So, you know, see, I've got a random spot of blue that showed up. God knows why, but it did. Same way with a random bit of red that showed next to the rest of the red. Um, but I, again, I think this will add just a little bit of um, interest, randomness, whatever you want to call it, to um, when I make something. My intention is to hopefully to make a scarf. Um, I'll work out the details on that later. But I wanted to just show you what I've accomplished um, with my first attempt at using RIT liquid dyes on some, um, I think it's called Wool of the Andes. I've forgotten exactly what kind of wool it is. So there's what I got, two skeins worth. And that's the end of this project. Um, just for giggles, I've also 
taken a few other little projects that have been finished lately on the Inca loom. I got myself a new pair of suspenders. They're um, carpet warp. And again, this is an, an experiment. I tried doing um, a pickup of a Baltic pattern, but it was way too putsy. I just got really tired of it. So then I finished off that project and just made a strap like this. So, those are a couple other little Inkle projects that I was working on in, over the last couple of weeks. So, there you go, that's that. Hey, give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. Subscribe if you think uh, you really like my videos. And I'll catch you the next time around on YouTube. Bye-bye.